Welcome to the video tutorial for making a topographic profile or topographic cross section. We're going to do a profile of line A to B right here, and we're going to record it on this grid down below between points A and B there with all these elevations. Okay. Well, we know that we've got a piece of getting our piece of paper along the line, and each time a line crosses, we're going to make a mark and we're going to label the elevation. Worthy of noting, there's there's no elevations visible here when I cover up everything else with my paper. So take the line that's labeled at 100 here. The interval is given to us as 20. And now what I should be able to do at this point is go in and oops, and label each of these lines here. Right? Uh, yeah, we, we had this 100 to start with, so that's easy to get those 100s in there. Uh, as we move towards this inner circle here, right? we know it's the hilltop, and so that's going to be up. And as we move down one interval each one of these places, we're just changing the interval each line. Okay, so uh, here we go. I'm going to cover the piece or the line up here with my paper, and I'm going to always start with the endpoints. A, its elevation was 20, and this endpoint over here for B also has an elevation of 20. All right. Now, uh, doing the endpoints first will allow you to make sure that the paper didn't slide and that you're going to have the correct uh, distance between you know, points and that that's really important moving forward. Now all I simply have to do is make a dash each time a contour line crosses my paper and, and label the elevation, right? So boom, 40, 60, we got 80 right here, got 100, 120. Ooh, now this one's also 120. It's worthy of noting, right? When you've got that innermost circle here, this line, you know, this contour line does not have hatcher lines. So we know this is a hilltop and we're going to be going up. So I'm going to actually put a little plus symbol in here. That lets me know that between my two 120s that are going to be consecutive, right? They are on this, going to be on the same line when we're drawing a profile, that this area in here, right, this has got to be higher than 120. There's no hatcher lines coming off of that contour. Okay. Continuing on here. Boom. 80, 60, and lastly, we got 40 squeezed right in there. All right. So now you got your piece of paper. It's got all the marks each time a contour comes across. And each time that it comes across, you made your mark, labeled it, and you're ready to move on to the next step. So here we go. Uh, take my piece of paper. I'm going to slide it down into the drawing section here. And here we go. Make sure that's perfectly all right. aligned. Down a little more. All right. So I am looking to line my A up here at my starting margins. I'm going to line A up with the A margin. Make sure you can see that. And A should be coming right along that. And B should be coming right along that here, right? So slide it up. Now, typically, you're asked to do this with X's. And so, you know, right here at 20 on that margin, I'm going to put an X there. I'm going to label it for A. And I'm also going to put one over here at B. Right. When we look at the numbers that are available on our piece of paper, only A and B are, those are the only two that are for 20. And so now we can move on. I'm going to slide it up to the next line here. And now I'm looking for, because we're doing the line for 40 right here, right? And now I'm going to look for my values of 40. And only then will I put right above that, right on that line, I'm going to place an X representing the value of 40 at that line. Continue to move it up here. Do the same thing at 60. Okay. Scooch it up here to 80. Okay. 100. And the last ones, we've got this boom, for the two 120s. All right. Now we're ready to connect our axes with a nice smooth curved line. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to connect each x that the axes are on separate elevations, right? Like so, and like so, going right through the center of each x. Right, now, now that I've got here this particular area. Whoop, right here, right? Well, that's between these two 120s down here. And that's where me putting that positive symbol between those two 120s, you know, later that's going to take some of the guesswork out of it. I know that I'm going up there. And so now, boop, 
connect that. I don't want to make all the way to the 140 line because there would have to have been a 140 contour line and there was not, and it didn't just skirt right along the 120. So I know that my line has to go somewhere right between 120 and 140, like it does here. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell, and it's all done.